Hello guys and welcome back to another Jack Fine Savage adventure. Today I am out here on lovely Lake Michigan. So we're gonna be vertical jigging or snap jigging some guys call it. And our target species today is lake trout. But we got a good chance of catching a lot of really nice ciscos in the spot we're into. And I kind of personally am shooting for them ciscos. My brother, he's got a hell of a smoking recipe that makes for some phenomenal Cisco dip. But anyway, I'll give you guys the rundown. We are going to be using medium heavy rods today. And we've got a cold water line counter on there. I like the line counter because that helps me figure out how deep my bait is. I'm going to be starting out with these... Uh, Vertical jigs. Yeah, Jonah jigs. They are a locally made vertical jig. Uh, I know a few guides who swear by them. I've had good success with them. That's the game plan. Let's connect to the Garmin Wi-Fi. Connect. All right, so anyway, you can see here on the Active Captain app, what you wanna be looking for is these steep shelves. These fish will push up against them. Right there we got one, two fish. So we got a couple fish around here. Not many though. So we're driving around out here looking for some fish. This time of year, you'll find them pushed up against steep breaks. So you can see on my map there, I've got really steep contours. That's what we're looking for. Basically we're going old school here. Work up and down your depths in and out, up and down your depths. So there'll be a spot where those fish are comfortable at today. They'll be sitting somewhere where they like the barrel pressure. And they're nice and cozy. So you just drive around looking for them here. Spoon down. Now, I see the fish are 134, 135 feet down. They're right to the bottom. That spoon just drop all the way down. Then we're on bottom. Give it one good crank. Lift and snap. Lift, snap. Lift and snap. And catch a fish. That's how you do it, folks. In case you were wondering, this is how you catch them. Feels maybe like a Cisco. Oh, did it come off? It came off, I think. I think it popped off. Nope, nope, nope. It didn't pop off. We just got ourselves a dink lake trout. Boat flipper. Boat flipper. We got ourselves a toad, folks. There it is, first fish of the day. Dink Lake Trout. Let's get him back in the water quick as we can here. He's got all three points in there. So I don't really want to touch them. I don't want to mess with their slime any. See if I can just pop that hook out and send him on his merry way. It's beautiful. Lake Trout in the boat. All right, folks, that's how you snap jig Lake Trout. Let's drop down and see if we can get another one. on this spot head on for greener pastures and a whole pot of fish just pushed in under the boat let's get that recording on the active captain so you can see we got a bunch of fish just pushed in under the boat there let's see if we can get down to them and catch their attention i'll try digging on top of the school here staying up higher than them a little bit too high i think 112, 115, there I am. 
be right in that one fish's face. Dropping down a little lower. Come on, one of these has got a bite. Come on, smoke it. Shamoke it, come on. No, no, not happening. Well, this is a high flyer up here. Let's see, think about what I'm doing. Now we got another one deep, deep. Let's hit the dirt. Let's go right to the dirt. Boom, 141 feet. Just roll down to the rod tip. What you're doing here when you hit the bottom is you're stirring up sediment. You're causing a little dust cloud on the bottom. The fish will see that. It makes them curious. There's a lot of fish here. There we go. There we go. There's one. I knew. I knew it. I knew we could get a fish out of this spot. <laughs> there is a fishy fishy. This might be a lake trout. Uh, might be a lake trout. It's got some fight to it. Usually Cisco's don't fight. Yeah, this one's definitely... He's fighting back. Pretty sure it's a lake trout. It's a, no, it's a big Cisco. It's a big Cisco. Cisco in the bag, Cisco in the Crisco. Woo! Look at how pretty that fish is. That fish is just blinging. Let's get him on hooked here. Come here. Come here. Quit it. Quit it. You are hooked in the net. You're hooked in the face. You are in a sitch here, homie. God, he just destroyed that. He pounded that spoon. Look at that. Just smoked it. This dude is going in the live well for sure. He's a eater. He's a eater. Come here. Come here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just want to unhook you. Here we go. All righty. All righty righty. Fish in the box. Got a fish in the box, baby. Ripping the gills out. Make sure he bleeds out for me. Nice. That's how we do. Sitting there lollygagging for a minute. We had a pot of fish swim right under the boat. Let's see. We can't put a spoon on them. Honestly, it looks like we got our best looking mark so far today. Up at 100 feet. Let's see what that big mark thinks about this. But they're not really responding to uh, the jigging spoon right now. So we're going to try something a little different here. On this one, we've got a Captain J's blade bait. I like the Captain J's because they're a little smaller profile. Half ounce. So the Captain J's. I think that is a... I mean, it's Wonder Bread. It's either Wonder Bread or it's a clown or something like that. Sometimes when they're not having the spoon, the blade's the way to go. Here's bottom. So close your bail. Give it a crank down on it. And just lift it and let it settle back down. Every time you lift that blade, you should feel it erratically thumping. He's still dropping. There we go. Close your bail, reel down on it, give it a little lift. You want to give it about as half as much of a jig with this blade as you did with the uh, spoon. 
Just imitate a little wounded minnow down there. Oh, hey. Pretty bait made a friend, all right. There we go. Here we go, folks. What do we got? What do we got? It is a... Nope, nope, nope. Let's just go for the Crisco, baby. Let's go for the Crisco, baby. This goes for the Crisco's, baby. Here we go. Cisco for the Crisco. He pounded that. Boy, bait. He meant business. All time we got one going. I got a fish hanging out a hundred feet deep right now too, so I'll send that spoon down to me and I'm going to put this asshole in the box. Fish in the box. He's a Cisco in the box, baby. What's that spoon doing? 139, 140 feet of water today. Fish him hand right to the bottom. So we want to bomb that spoon all the way down until it stops. On the line counter, it's probably going to be about 145, 150. There we go. Reel down until you're touching the surface of the water. Start jigging. Nothing on the bottom right now. Come up to 115. 120. Snapping it. Oh, they like that. Snapping it. Yep. Dropped it right in his face. Nailed it. That's how you snap jig, folks. That's how it's done. Dropped it right on his nose. He's trying to run away. This might be true. What do we got? Oh, it's another Siska. Another Siska biscuit. Quit it. Another Siska biscuit. There you go. Oh, I'm here getting the bag. <laughs> gotcha. He's bleeding like a sieve too. Here we go. Here's the bat. I get sick of this. What's up, Cisco? Welcome to the club. Oh, oh, darn it. Oh, man, he got it in the stitch. Why do they do this to me every time? Get out of the class. You come here. Cisco biscuits. That's how you do that. All right, guys, we gotta go pick Zeb up from the dock. So we got the stuff packed in. We're gonna send her right quick.
Yep. Yep. Later. Nice one, dude. Nice one. Finally hooked into one. We had ourselves a dry spell there for a while. Right around midday, of course. Everything shut down. This is feisty if it's a Cisco. I think it might be a lake trout, Zeb. Uh huh. I'm not ripping them up. It's a trout. Them head shakes. Oh. Oh, oh. It's going back down. That's a trout for sure, dude. Oh, there's the bubbles. He burped. That's a trout for sure. Come on up. I see it now. It's spinning and flipping and freaking out. Come on up. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna come down that side of the boat with it. All right. Going down to him in the back. Trip. Trout in a bag, trout in a bag. That's a keeper. I want to keep him. Nice. Yeah, you spit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That was that damn clown blade bait, man. This has been the number two. For sure. There we go. Nice. Hey, buddy. Male like trout. Nice, nice. Let's bump him. Oh. 19 and three quarter. I might keep him, have my brother smoke him whole. Yep. Let's see what he can do it's with a, it. That's a good keeper. That's a good It's keeper. a perfect eater lake trout. Yeah. So we're gonna keep this lake trout. Yeah. Uh, there you go. You fish, dude. Nice, dude. Blade bait. We gotta run from the rain, folks. Me and Zeb are hardy seafaring lads, but we're not that hardy. <laughs> not when it's 40 degrees. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean. guys so as you saw we got rained off the lake there we had to scratch ass for home before we got too wet it's time to check out our day's spoils and clean up some fish what do we got in the box come on cisco he's a 20 incher we got two ciscos and we got a slimy lake trout, oh boy. Hmm. You got a 20 inch laker? We'll call him 19 and three quarter. 21 and a quarter Cisco. A 20 inch Cisco. Alright. Let's cut him up. Lake trout. Put them right up their belly. There we go. Put that knife blade right up against the skin. Saw them up in there. I'm just going to take the heads and the front fins right off of them. Go in the bucket. What a nice orange colored meat. Man. Let's go. Right. Open up the live well. 
down here. Got some back in there. Real quick. Scrape that bloodline out of there. Get all those blood platelets. Get some clean in there. That's as good as it gets. Last but not least, our slimy lake trout friend. Man, that's good looking meat in this dude. For the longest time in our Michigan fisheries, lake trout were really undesirable. They were pale, greasy, yucky meat. People didn't like them at all. And then, since the round goby have gotten into the Great Lakes, our lake trout meat has actually gotten considerably better. And look at that fish right there. That's like sushi grade, just nice fat rings. As orange as it gets, man. Just a beautiful chunk of fish. I mean, look at how healthy these fish are. Look at how bright and vibrant those fins are. Oh, that's a stalker. Stocked lake trout. Look at that. Clipped adipose. That was a stock fish. And just, I mean, beautiful, healthy meat. These lake trout really have a bad name. You know, people call them grease balls and say they're undesirable. They don't like eating them. But yep. Come on, we get some good stuff, man. I've had it baked with vegetables that are just phenomenal to die for. Let's give Lake Trout another chance, people. It's not that bad. Anyway, it's starting to rain again. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial on snap jigging for Cisco and Lake Trout. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the bell. Keep coming back to the channel. We're always up to new adventures. Thanks again, and uh, what's up say? Oh yeah, thanks for stopping by.